low, selection natin ngayon. Pag-aaralan natin ang triangle inequality. Ang ating week 1, quarter 4. Mga pala si Sir Julius John, ang inyong mathematics sage subject teacher. For our learning competencies, illustrate theorems on triangle inequalities. So, meron tayong tatlong lesson dito. Ang una ay exterior angle inequality theorem, triangle inequality theorem, and hinge theorem. Ang una nating lesson ay about sa exterior angle inequality. Kung mapapansin nyo, pag sinabing exterior, yun yung labas na angle ng isa nating triangle. By definition, an exterior angle is a polygon is an angle that forms a linear pair with one of the interior angles of a polygon. Pag sinabi ating linear pair, it composed of 180 degrees. Sabihin, yung dalawang pair ng angle ay nakaform ng 180 degrees. Kaya siya tinawag na linear pair. For each exterior angle, the interior angle that it forms a linear pair, what is called an adjacent interior angle. Ibig sabihin, yung exterior angle, meron siyang katumbas na adjacent interior angle sa loob ng isang triangle. At the remaining two angles are called the remote interior angles or non-adjacent interior angles. Mamaya, papakita ko sa inyo sa examples natin. Ito ang isang example ng triangle. Ano? So, isang triangle, may angle 1, 2, 3, tapos meron siyang exterior angle na angle 4, at yung adjacent angle niya na linear pair dun sa angle 4 ay angle 1. Ibig sabihin, kapag inad natin yung 4 at 1, 180 degrees sila. At yung remote interior angles ay angle 2 at angle 3. Yan. Kung mapapansin nyo, sa ating diagram, meron tayong angle 4 na exterior angle na ang katumbas niya ay ang sum ng angle 2 at angle 3 na tinatawag nating remote interior angles. This explains that the exterior angle of a triangle is greater than either of the remote interior angles or non-adjacent interior angles. Angles. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, si angle 4 dito ay mas malaki or greater than the measure of angle 2 and measure of angle 4 is greater than the measure of angle 3. For our examples, we will use the exterior angle inequality theorem to write inequalities that can be observed in the figures. So kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong triangle REA with exterior angle R, A, C. So, R, E, A, ang exterior angle niya ay R, A, C. So, hahanapin natin or i-determine natin kung ano ang measurement ni R, A, C. So, alam natin na si R, A, C is greater than the measure of R, E, A and R, A, C is greater than the measure of angle E, R, Okay. Example number two, we have triangle ham or HAM with exterior angle MAT. So dito naman, makikita nyo na si MAT is greater than the measure of AHM and greater than the measure of AMH. For our example, letter B, Solve for the measure of the angle denoted by x. Hanapin natin yung value ng x. Example number 1. Angle x is the exterior angle of the triangle. By the exterior angle inequality theorem, the measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of its two remote interior angles. So, mapapasin nyo, meron tayong two remote interior angles. So, yun ang 69 degrees tsaka yung tinatawag natin 46 degrees. Dahil nga doon sa ating theorem, iaadag natin yung dalawa. So, 46 plus 69 is equal to 150 degrees. Yun yung magiging value ng x natin. Example number 2, angle x is the exterior angle of the triangle. The angle that measures 54 degrees is adjacent to angle x and these are supplementary. Sabihin, yung 54 daw ay adjacent sa kanya. So, kung mapapansin nyo, 180 yung isang linear pair. 
So, meron tayo 180. Subtract lang natin si 54. Kaya magiging sagot natin sa x is 126 degrees. Learning task 1. Use the figure on the right to answer the following. So, meron tayong measure of angle 1 is equal to 50. Measure of angle 2 is equal to 35. What is the measure of angle 4? So, yata natin si 50 plus 35 equals 85. Number 2, measure of angle 1 is 78. Measure of angle 2 is 24. What is the measure of angle 4? So, yata natin ulit natin. Is equal to 102 degrees. Number 3, if angle 4 is equal to 98, what is the measure of angle 3? Kung ang sagot nyo ay 81, tama rin. Number 4, if the measure of angle 3 is 72, what is the measure of angle 4? If your answer is 108 degrees, tama rin. Number 5, the measure of angle 4 is 95. The measure of angle 2 is 42. What is the measure of angle 1? Kung ang sagot nyo ay 53, Tama rin. Lesson 2. Triangle Inequality Theorem. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong dalawang lengths, AB plus BC, is greater than AC. Ibig sabihin, yung AC, pinaka-largest side. BC plus AC is greater than AB. Tell whether a triangle can have sides with a given lens. So, ganun lang. Iyaan lang natin dalawang sides. At kapag greater than siya sa pangatlo, Ibig sabihin, triangle yun. So, we have given 5, 8, 10. 5 plus 8 is greater than 10. Tama. 5 plus 10 is greater than 8. Tama pa rin. 8 plus 10 is greater than 5. Tama pa rin. So, we can say that a triangle exists. Learning task 2. Use the figure on the right. Write the correct relation symbol greater than less than or equal given the following situations. So, meron tayo triangle LRN. In triangle LRN, the measure of angle L is 61 and the measure of angle R is equal to 48. So, titignan natin kung LN is greater than RN. So, angle L is greater than angle R. So, LN ito so, part siya ng angle R. Rn ay part ng angle L. So, kung mapapansin nyo, Ln is less than. Tama. Ito sunod. Lr. So, angle N. Wala itong angle N. So, paano natin makukuha? I-add natin yung angle L and angle R. 61 plus 48, 109, minus 180, is equal to 79. So, ang largest side ay RL or LR. So, greater than siya sa LN. Number 2, greater than ang LR sa LN. RN tsaka LN. Nalagdad lang. So, greater than siya. Letter B, triangle LRN, LN is equal to 8, RN is equal to 12, LR is equal to 15. Makikita nyo, number 4, measure of angle L, siya ay katapat ng side RN, 12. Angle N naman, katapat siya ng RL or LR, 15. So, mas malaki yung angle N. So, measure of angle L is less than measure of angle N. Measure of angle N, number 5, is greater than 10 sa ating measure of angle R. Dahil ang katapat ng angle R ay 8 cm, ang katapat ng angle N ay 15 cm, kaya greater than number 5. Lesson number 3, hinge theorem and converse of hinge theorem. Ano ba yung hinge theorem? States that if two triangles have two congruent sides, then the triangle with a larger angle between those sides will have a longer third side. Sabihin daw, kapag ang two sides ng dalawang triangle ay congruent, sa two sides ng another triangle, ibig sabihin daw, 
yung third side ay pwedeng longer dun sa pang third side ng isang point triangle. So, kung makikita nyo sa figure natin, since angle F is greater than angle C, ano? Therefore, AB is less than DE. Ganun din sa kabila, angle H is equal to angle N. Therefore, FG is equal to ng N. So, itinulad itong hinge theorem sa isang pinto. Paglaki ng buka ng pinto, paglaki rin ng angle natin sa third side. Converse of hinge theorem. So, kabalik tala naman to. If two triangles have two congruent sides, then that triangle with the longer third side will have a larger angle opposite that third side. Dito naman, mauna yung side. Since AB is greater than BE, therefore, the measure of ACB is greater than the measure of DFE. Ano? Dito naman, side naman ang hindi na natin. Kung kanina, angle, ngayon, dito naman tayo sa side. Yun ang first theorem. Lesson task 3, write the letter of the correct answer. Which of the following illustrates the hinge theorem? Kita natin. A ba? B ba? C ba? Or D? Pabalikan natin. So dito, ang hinge theorem, pag-uusapan natin ay angle. Ano? Hanap tayo dito ng angle. Ayun. Diba? Meron tayong letter D. Angle yung given niya. Yung B kasi at C, wala naman sila nakalagay. Yung B kasi, SSS. Yung converse, so sa side naman tayo. Letter A. Tama. Number 3, dito naman, hahanapin naman natin yung tama. Ano? So, congruent sides of the triangles. Kung mapapansin nyo, nasan dyan yung congruent sides? Pwede yung CD, FE, Meron ba dyan? Wala. AB, DE. Wala rin eh. Sa kaya dyan? So, ang A ay AB is congruent to DE. Ayun, letter A. Diba? Number 4, compare AC and DF. Maling kaya mas malaki. AC, tama. AC is greater than DF. Kaya letter B ang sagot. Ito sa number 5, saan dito yung does not illustrate the hinge theorem? JG and PL. Equal ba sila? Yes. So tama yun. Letter B, HG tsaka KL. Ruin din. Tama. HJ and KP. HJ and KP kung ruin pa. Eh, kasi 85 lang yung angle L Yung angle G, 90 Kahit wala nakalagay na 90 Basta may square doon Yun ay automatic right angle HJ Tsaka KP Hindi rin So dalawang sagot pwedeng C Or D Itong ating references 